Drislow here Hello. with the Drislow's Happy Home Team. I'm here with you to chat about some home loan options. So, um, you know, there's a very common misconception even today that a lot of people still believe you need 20% down in order to buy a home. And the simple fact is that's just not true. Um, there's many programs as we'll share with you here that require zero down or maybe a small amount down. But the reality is since 1956, you have not needed 20% down to purchase a home in the United States. That's right. In 1956, PMI came out, private mortgage insurance, and that uh, helped alleviate the uh, risk from the mortgage company and spread that risk out. So now there's a, an insurance company that'll take on some of that risk so that the mortgage company has decided, okay, we'll take a little less down and be more comfortable with that now that we've got some insurance to protect us. So even to this day, uh, if you find a mortgage that's got less than 20% down, typically you're gonna have private mortgage insurance. So that private mortgage insurance has been around since 1956 and it's still here to this day. That's right, and it's also important to note that the mortgage insurance isn't for you, but it's for the bank. Because if you're putting 20% down, the bank thinks that, okay, we have enough equity in the home, if for some reason you fail to make your payments and the bank takes the home back through foreclosure, provided that you had a large enough down payment, they should be able to sell the home, recoup the sales costs, and pay off the lien. So that's kind of where mortgage insurance and why down payment requirements exist, as opposed to somebody who just puts zero down and maybe just has little exposure and might not be as inclined to uh, perform or stay current on the mortgage. So the mortgage insurance, as Chelsea said, helps protect the bank for that. So some of the different creative options that are out there today. Um, so you have some low down, low down program, uh, down payment programs. Uh, for instance, you can get a conventional loan with 3% down. You can do an FHA loan with 3.5% down. That's a Federal Housing Administration. Both of those scenarios would include mortgage insurance. There are some other ways to put less than 20% down with some creative structuring that you would technically avoid private mortgage insurance and you're just financing it through some other methods. Mm -hmm. um, for true zero down programs, so there's a few out there. One is the Veterans Administration has the VA loan. So you need to have, be an active uh, service person or have served for at least two years to qualify or have a family member in your immediate family that, that has. So unless you're not actively a veteran, you probably might not wanna go enlist and serve just to get zero down on a home, but it's one of the best programs that's out there. Zero down, no mortgage insurance, really great rates. Another, Our veterans deserve it. Really. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, another option is the USDA, the same agency that insures your beef, will actually give you a home loan. It's called a USDA rural home loan. And it doesn't mean rural like you're out in some pasture way out in the boonies. You could be in Maple Valley in Four Corners and you're still within the geographic boundaries. There are income and credit restrictions for that program. Uh, but as long as it's in the right geographic areas and your household meets the income requirements, true zero down program. Um, there's also uh, a number of other third party organizations out there. For instance, the Washington State Housing Finance Commission um, allows you to get a home with, you can get up to a 5% down uh, or five percent down interest-free loan that you do not have to pay over the course of 30 years until you either sell or refinance the home. Right, uh, and so that they'll give you five percent basically as your down payment and you'll have you'll make no payments on that zero, no zero interest zero interest and then it's just if you refinance the house you sell the house or at the end of that 30 year period of time where you have to then start getting some payments made to them. That's right, and the Housing Finance Commission allows you to make up to $145,000 per household in some instances, so it's not very few people will ever qualify, most people would. So yeah, it's not very restrictive, but there are so many different programs out there um, and there's a lot of opportunities out there for, for some down payment assistance, but the programs are all very specific and can be tailored to what your situation is. So you need to make sure that you talk to a professional that knows these programs inside and out, can know to, to, to set you up with one if it does work for you, but also steer you in the right direction where which way to go and which way not to go. So That's right. we're always happy to connect you with the right person for that and and also just happy to be a, a resource for information for, for you at any point in time. So Yeah, so just call, text, visit us online, happyhometeam.com.